أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Living with the glorious Quran We are still discussing those verses that are allegorical in their messages uh, as against those that are clear in and by themselves um, Another example is in the issue of inheritance uh, the verse in the Quran that speaks about inheritance uh, mentions parents, father and mother, having a share in the division of the heritage. But the verse is silent on the issue of grandparents. Uh, would grandparents be inheritors of the grandchild's heritage or not? Uh, the Quran says, That his parents will have the sixth of the inheritance if uh, he have a son. I emphasize that because that is how it is in the Elizabethan English uh, as contained in the translations of the Quran. If we are speaking today, maybe we would say, if he has a son but of course the text says if he have a son the point is not uh, is not is not that but uh, if I what about the, the grandparents uh, it will be remembered that what we are trying to establish in the allegorical verses in the Quran is that at this point we are trying to to bring where the scholars would support an opinion within the book itself that means the book explaining itself in another place or in a, in another portion of the same scripture only the scholars can do that so the quran says parents will inherit from their children what about the grandparents grandparents are not mentioned in the in the verses that uh, speak about the division of the heritage of a deceased person so now the scholars said the quran describes us as ya bani adam all children of adam so and 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 if we are children of adam adam is not our father adam is our great 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 grandfather to an extent that we cannot even fathom but he is described in the quran as our father so the scholar said then every father every grandfather can take the place of a father in inheritance another uh, example on the issue of uh, grandparents uh, taking the place of parents is uh, where yusuf said alayhi salam wa tabatu millata abai ibrahim wa ishaq wa yaqub i have surrendered myself to the religion of my fathers Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and of course grandparents are fathers and whatever affects fathers affect grandfathers as as well as we have seen in this in this verse he mentions uh, uh, grandparents to in, to include his uh, his parents another one is the is the issue of hijab that is women covering themselves when they go abroad when they are in public they are to cover themselves and not to display their beauty except to their parents as we have seen in the in the Quran, وَلَا يُبْتِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا لِبُعُولَتِهِنَّ أَوْ آبَائِهِنَّ أَوْ آبَاءِ بُعُولَتِهِنَّ أَوْ أَبْنَائِهِنَّ أَوْ أَبْنَائِ بُعُولَتِهِنَّ أَوْ إِخْوَانِهِنَّ أَوْ بَنِي إِخْوَانِهِنَّ That women are not to display their beauty except to their husbands or to their their fathers or husbands' fathers or their sons or their husbands' sons or their brothers. Or their brother's sons or their sister's sons now the verse is silent on the uncle 
if your uncle is around, can you display your beauty because he is your uncle? The Quran is silent about that as far as this verse is concerned. Only the scholars will now tell us whether what is the position of the uncle when it comes to this type of uh, case. Here again we have an example from the Quran. Am kuntum shuhada id hadara yaqub al mawtu id qala li banihi ma ta'buduna min ba'di qalu na'budu ilahaka wa ilaha abaika Ibrahim wa Ismail wa Ishaq ilahan wahidan wa nahnu lahu muslimun. Were you witnesses when death appeared before Jacob? Behold, he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We shall worship thy God and the God of thy fathers, Abraham, Ishmael, and Isaac, the one true God, and to him we bow in Islam. Now, he, he mentioned these names, even though Ismail, Ishmael, was not a father, he was an uncle. So whatever affects fathers affect and is applicable to uncles. So the scholar said, you can display your beauty in front of your father and in front of your uncle. Whatever applies to the father applies to the uncle. So women can be free in, in front of their fathers and in front of their uncles. So. It is clear from what we have said when we started discussing these verses that are clear in and by themselves and those that are allegorical that it's only Allah that knows their meanings and the scholars divided them into four parts and all of which we have been able to discuss in these few days that we took this verse on clear verses and allegorical verses in the Quran. The last, of course, is what we have seen on the issue of uh, inheritance today, whether grandparents would inherit. Of course, the verse said nothing about grandparents. It's only the scholars that now said whatever is applicable by the authority of the Quran to parents is also applicable to grandparents. So where the father ceases to exist and his grandfather is alive, he would inherit from your, from your property. And on the issue of hijab, which is the last item that we have taken today, um, where women are not to display their beauty except to their parents or to their husbands or husbands' sons or, or, or all that, that the verse has mentioned, but the uncles are not mentioned and we the scholars now took us to al-baqarah where he asked them about what they would worship after him and uncles were mentioned in the name that they also mentioned as part of parents so uncles as we have seen today take also uh, the place of uh, parents when it comes to women displaying their partisanment or their adornment uh, they can do so in, in in the presence of their fathers and in the presence of their uncles uh, when we meet tomorrow inshallah we take uh, the next verse of the quran where we are taught how to how to pray allah because our hearts are between the two fingers of allah he turns it wherever he likes and where he turns it to another direction the hearts swerve and they derail and they are misled so may Allah keep us and our hearts within his religion that he has chosen for us tomorrow we talk we take on that that verse inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh